Hello there, good evening. Wow, who thought we'd be back here again quite so soon? <laughs> Everyone's back in lockdown, um, so I thought I'll start my lockdown paintings. Welcome, thank you for joining me. Um, I, I thought long and hard about what on earth to do today, and I thought the weather's been so rubbish, so cold, should I do something tropical and warm and sunsets and palm trees? And I thought, nah, let's go with what I've been watching. Um, <laughs> during lockdown, you tend to watch a lot of TV. So we've been watching a series, well, re-watching one of our favourite series called Shetland. And obviously it's based in Shetland. And a couple of times there's been scenes that have been um, shown in the background of the shots of the murder scenes and everything i don't always look at the grisly bits and what got me was the horizon and the huge skies the towering clouds and no trees <laughs> big bushes but no trees at all and the landscape is is flat and then it just dives down to the water and the water comes crashing over rocks and it's actually really really dramatic um i've never been but um it, it's on the bucket list. So I thought that's what I will do. So what I've done so far is I've got my 20 by 16 um, inch canvas. I've primed it again with white gesso because as I've said before, um, the, the triple priming they put on, it's microns thick. So I put on my own um, white gesso let that totally dry and i've put on i call it liquid gray but it's actually liquid opal and it's a bob ross oil medium which makes the canvas slick and allows me to apply um, the other oils i've also taken a little cloth a little wet wipe and i've just highlighted a few bits wiped a few bits of it off purely because i wanted to um have some really I want the idea that the sun is behind the clouds okay so I will have a bright spot in there so it's not all doom and gloom and what else have I done oh because I've got a horizon and horizons are usually straight I've put up a piece of tape now the tape I use you can use obviously just regular masking tape but I use frog tape because I find it does leave a clearer line it, it is actually a bit bit better it's an orange frog tape as opposed to the green frog tape i don't know what the difference is but this is what was recommended by the guy at the hardware store so if you're ready if you'd like to join in grab your brushes i'm just going to pick up my paints i'm just going to have a quick swift swig of my tea we've got some mint tea today and then uh, we shall make a start so Oil colours that I have tonight. I have got titanium white. I've got Prussian blue because it's a bit darker than the phthalo blue. Midnight black, Payne's grey, um, burnt sienna, Van Dyke brown, um, sap green, alizarin crimson, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow. No, that's Indian yellow, that's cadmium yellow, that's a cadmium orange and a cadmium red. So I'm going to actually start using one of my small brushes. This is a one inch Bob Ross brush. I'm actually going to start by bouncing in where my light spot is going to be. So I'm just putting some straight titanium white in amongst where I want my really bright spot to be. And it's going to be in and underneath and above. So it's going to be in and around. Okay, and we'll leave that there like that and it feathers out either side. And maybe there's a little glimpse of light up there as well. Maybe, who knows. So, I'm going to take a little bit of the orange. I'm just going to mix it on the brush with a little bit of the yellow. I do want this quite a true colour because you know you get that sort of peachy colour in the sky and I'm just going to put that 
back just down there and I'm going to go a little bit more yellow perhaps for here and we'll put a little bit in here and there on the clouds there we are and then maybe a little bit of red who knows shall we put a little bit of red in there go on why not we'll put a little bit of red there just where the light splits because it's all Obviously, when you're in, in a cloud, it's all liquid, it's all moisture, and it just splits the light a little bit. So, taking that, I'm going to clean my brush, do it on the... Now, again, for those of you who don't know, um, don't go and buy an expensive cleaning set. Any old bucket, this is an old bucket I got from Kiddies years ago. And inside I put a one of those hanging baskets, wire hanging baskets. And that's what I use to beat my brush. And I've got some old towels, I just wipe them off. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the Payne's Grey. Because I really want some dark clouds. Now they have got the liquid pearl on here, or liquid opal, I will get the name right one day. And I'm just going to start bouncing this around. Now I do want the corners to be reasonably dark, okay, because that dries, draws your eye into the painting if they're a bit dark. And let's not forget, you know, at Shetland we're going to have big storm clouds, we're going to have big skies, which means lots of clouds. There we go. Bring that in a little bit more. Now I'm choosing the Payne's Grey rather than the actual black because it is a softer colour, which I think you can get more tonal values with. We'll go across in there. Okay. Go across the middle. Perhaps we'll add a little bit of the blue with pick up some white. along with the Payne's Grey, and she's just shot it straight down the front, never mind, eh? There we go, I'm going to dull it down a little bit. It is, it is the UK, we don't have, in the winter, we don't have beautiful sunny skies, do we? I'm going to put in little clouds in there. But I'm trying to avoid mixing with the yellow. So may put a little bit more white, but there we go. A little bit of blue skies here and there. Perhaps a little bit above the white. This time I am going to go with the black, mix it in with the grey, make a little darker clouds. Now normally I would say do one cloud at a time and then sort it out. But these are all just my backgrounds. This is just getting some background colour in. Not actually clouds as such yet. Okay, this is just getting the colour. The grey is, the opal does make a really good colour for a, a, a pretty bright or stormy sky. Yeah, there we go. So tell me guys, what kind of, um, what series have you been watching in in lockdown we've had quite a few different ones and um, like I say we went back to Shetland because we're actually the big one we're watching is um, the X-Files we've never seen it it's actually really really good but at 11 series of 24 or so episodes each we saw a bit of a break so we decided to do Shetland and then they went and announced that there was a new um, Vikings, so we've been doing that as well. We've been following that. That's another really good series. And a cousin of mine has been watching The Blue Line. Um, so let me know. Any ideas for some new series? I'm just going to lightly go over this all. So it all comes together. There we go. And then take a look back. Let's see. 
Wow, an awful lot of movement. I want to, <laughs> I want to batten down the hatches if I saw this guy coming, I think. Vikings are good, <laughs> Ragnar Lothbrook. Yes, he's amazing. <laughs> it's, uh, we're up at the, the series at the moment where um, it's his Ivor the Boneless has just decided to go back and he's, he's escaped from the Russians or whatever and he's now going back to try and take York and beat King Alfred. So, so really good series. Okay, I'm going to take some of this colour, a little bit of blue, and we're just going to go over to make the sea. Now the sea is going to be dark, obviously, because, there we go, right, I'll just come around the corner, what else? You've seen them all. Glitch. Oh, now that's a series I've not seen. Not seen that at all. What's that one about? Um, I'll have to keep an eye on that one. I think actually I've seen it advertised. I've not actually watched it. Okay, so there, that's that bit. Now, I'm going to go back and clean my brush thoroughly this time. Go back to clean it and wipe it. And then I'm going to take my usual, which is a, it's a pan blender. Doesn't say what number it is, but never mind. So we'll take a little bit of Payne's Gray in this because we do, don't want them too white. And we'll start to build up some cloud shapes in this about these dead people that come back from the graves in Australia wow okay that sounds intriguing okay thank you Marlon appreciate that I will uh, I will add it to my watch list okay so I'm going to put in going to make these a little bit darker. And I don't want white fluffies, but I do want big storm clouds. Okay, so I need a little bit of, a little bit darker because these are a little bit white at the moment. There we go. Turn it around. I'm just scrubbing the corners. I'm going to take that one. I'm actually going to put in dark underneath there and we'll have a big dark cloud there. I'm going to have some black ones coming in from the side. As you know the storms all come up from the sea don't they so well no I know they come from the clouds but they look like they come from the sea. Add a little bit of sparkling highlights on that. There we go. There we are. Come across over there. And I'm going to go back. Just add a little bit of lighter to that. Okay. So we've got quite a dark piece down here, so I think I'm going to carry that in and make that. Gemma! Hi Gemma! How are you doing my lovely? Hope you're okay. Poor little shop. You're still doing click and collect though aren't you? Series. Jane though, but it was good. I'm going to try to find out what it was. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So now I'm going to take my little two inch brush and I'm just going to wind all these clouds up. 
basically I'm setting them down into the painting. Now I am literally only using the top few, I don't know if you can see that in view, um, I'm literally only using the top few bristles. And I'll just blend them in. Literally just stirring them up. Okay. Do that. Okay. It's all right, guys. I'm just. If I disappear, I'm just trying to keep an eye on your messages as they come in. So I do apologise if I tend to disappear and mumble a bit. It's because I'm reading the messages. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Click and collect. Okay. So Gemma has got a little. Um, crafty place in I'm going to get this right it's Huntingdon isn't it it's not Northampton where I ended up one time <laughs> it's in Huntingdon and she's got an online store as well give her a little plug she's a really really good friend of mine um she started me on this crafting craft show journey that I'm on so this is all her fault <laughs> um, but yeah, she's got a little craft place in Huntingdon, lovely little place, but obviously it's had to close, but she is doing online click and collect. So Gemma, if you just drop your um, shop name down on the comments, everyone can see it then. No, I don't mind you jumping in. So I'll give another trader a go as well, and that's um, Pippa's Pantry, because she's allowed me to put, actually that's quite a dramatic sky, she's allowed me to put some of my paintings in her window, along with lots of other cra local crafters from the village, which is really nice of her. <coughs> and as you know, those who follow me, I do have stock at the Flandrum Prong in um, Horncastle, and... I did have at the Jolly Brewers and Sheldon Thorpe as well. So there's some really nice people out there that are willing to help us little single traders, which is nice. Well, artists. Okay, so have I finished my sky? Yep, I think I have. So, oh, that's bright, isn't it? So what I have to do is take my little brush Take a little bit of the liquid grey and then just take this. Sorry, I was listening to the Eagles the other day. Not listened to the Eagles for years and years and years. But they came on Apple Music and I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed it. Forgotten how good their music was. of the 70s or something and they just cropped up um, and it's their greatest hits album which I do have but say I tend not to listen to too much music but I did enjoy the sing song that was quite nice right, a little bit more on the brush not quite enough there shared you on my social group patches that's it patches And so on the, we've got the social group. She's got a little social group going, an online social group. This is Gemma again. And she's done. Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you very much, Gemma. So I think it's nice, you know, everybody trying to help each other. And those of you who don't know, which I'm sure there's not many, um, I do have a website, rvart.co.uk. All my paintings are on there, my Facebook, my videos from... Hey, that looks really good. Do you know what? That's really good. 
I shouldn't say things like that really, should I? I'm supposed to be critical of your own art, but I'm sorry, but when you do something you like, why shouldn't you be proud of it? There we go. Okay, so keep that a bit smooth. Now, the only trouble is, obviously, if it's that stormy, it probably means it's blowing a hooey. You know, in the Shetlands, it's always blowing hooey. Because in the series, it really makes me giggle. I mean, you know, they've always got the coats and jackets and everything on. Okay, so before, shall I do this? No, I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm going to take my orange again. And I'm going to go quite intense, quite an intense colour. And I'm literally going to get a little bit on my knife. And I'm just going to bring, I don't want it quite so pastely. There you go, let's bring some colour into it. Um, oops. I've actually got my fire on today, so guys, so I can't use that to put my on. Can I? No, that might burn. I can't use my fire to put my bits and pieces and as a consequence I'm using my chair but it wobbles on my chair. So I'll have a little bit of yellow. So it's just, the sun's just touching here, there and everywhere. There you go. Just a little bit. A little bit of yellow in that orange as well, shall we? There we go. And then I'll take some white. And we'll touch a little bit of the white. Get rid of, hang on, I've got some on the wrong side there. Okay. There we are. Touch that down there as well. Just want them just here and there, just to lighten up. There we go. Yes, you do get that every time you just get a little sparkler in the skies. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm just going to very lightly, now I've got this blender brush, but I better make sure it's one that is soft still, because I was just telling hubby earlier that I had my fire on, and I actually, there we go, I actually burnt some of the bristles, so one of them's a little bit sharp. <laughs> I didn't realise my fire got so hot. Mind you, standing next to it now, I remember. Okay, like I say, I'm not blending much, I'm just blending a bit, just to have a few little sparklers in it. Right, and that one I'm just going to wipe off on there, because I'm sure I'll be back for that. Okay, so now the C. Ooh, right, take some of the Payne's Grey, we'll take some of the blue, and we'll take a chunk of white. Now, there's too much blue in that for my liking because and you've not got too much up there so okay that's obviously too thick we'll come across Lighter. Okay, and I'm literally, I've got this all mixed, it's not mixed up really well, I'm literally just slicing across it and then just tapping, sliding, just to lay some colour down. Now don't forget, you do need to go around the corner because obviously isn't going to stop and I'm not sure where I'm actually going to be putting the, um, the ground if indeed I'm going to put any in okay so there we go now I'm going to take
take my two inch brush, make sure it's good and dry guys please. I come from here and I'm literally just going to go straight across. Now do keep your lines as straight as you possibly can. There we go. Just drag it along. There we go. Take it in. There we are. And there's your waves. Or the troughs, anyway. Okay, so now that's the answer. I do apologise for saying K so much, but I've always said it. Ask all my students. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Now I'm going to take some white. I'm just going to touch tops of some of these. So that it looks like we've got a few little breakers. So I'm not doing much. Bring that out flat. Over the tops. There we go. Okay, just a little bit. There we are. And then maybe as it comes in, we can make them a little bit more. Bringing it over as it comes. Find a bit of a shadow which is here and we'll bring another, another one over it. I'm literally just doing that, that kind of movement with it. Okay, maybe a little bit brighter since it's so close. There's another one there, which I will also bring in. There we are. Bring that around and down. Okay, and there we are. Okay, so now what? Now I did do a little picture thing, and it's got some cliffs over this side. And then another cliff around here, but it's all clean and I don't really know if I really want to do that. So I'm actually just going to take a little bit of this white. <laughs> Thank you, Marlon. I'm glad you like it. And I'm just going to do a little bit of foam on there. Like that you should have a little bit of foam where it's actually breaking now it doesn't break all the way across and then you just take the back end of it and stream it backwards so it gets the idea that the waves are rolling over okay, and they go straight back all right so there we go and that'll do that now my little Pan brushes I do tend to just and no I didn't just wipe that on the carpet guys I do have a towel down here um okay I am going to make a mix now Shetland it's rock basically <laughs> lots of rock but it's a brownish blackish reddish rock that all makes sense so I've taken some of my Van Dyke brown I've taken some of the dark sienna, a bit of black and a bit of the alizarin crimson. And let me just have a little look. Now, one thing I did notice on Shetland is that they, it doesn't actually have mountains as such. They're all flat topped. So we're going to come in. And I'm going to start with there. Come around the corner. And then we'll have a nice flat topped piece there and then it's going to come fairly sharp again it shetland seems to be a place that just sticks up out of the water and i know that sounds terrible to say but 
a bit like the White Cliffs of Dover, you know, it's just a huge landmass in the middle of a pool of water. I suppose that's all any of us are, but it's funny. Sometimes you get lots of gentle slopes. Um, just don't seem to get that up there. Not in the bits that we've seen anyway. So then, I'm going to come down. So to make her do that, do that. Use the small edge of the knife and we'll do a flat bit there and bring that down. Just bring that out. And then I have another piece out here. So a little bit more. And that's going to come all the way down into the water. Now it's got a little bit of a cove, the picture that I was using mine. There we go. So I will leave that like that. I'm going to have that out there. I'm going to have another little break and then I'm going to put in a rock that's there and then I'm going to put in and it needs to be a different shape. That doesn't look a very good shape. There we go, like that. And then I'm going to take the brown, make a light version of it. And I know I did have some rocks coming up out the water further away. Can I say, it, it, there's rocks and stuff all over the place. Um, it's a very, there we go, I'll put those back there, have a look which is Pharaoh, yep, Pharaohs are lovely as well, in fact, you know, I have to say it, <laughs> my family originally come from Scotland, um, my, my, my mother's side, and um, I have to say the scenery is to die for. It's, it's incredible and having lived in Norway as well, um, yeah, I, I, I love the water, I love the rocks, maybe that's why. So now I'm going to take that up a little bit and use that as shadow. So I need to have a little bit of a water line and that's going to come out, there we go. So if I take, because I do have to say, I'll say Scotland is a beautiful country. Um, and my, my family were literally Highlanders and Islanders on my granddad's side and then um, complete Lowlanders on my grand's. In fact, my granddad didn't speak English, he spoke Gaelic, until he went to school. So, there we go. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of green on the top, because, again, I noticed in Shetland, in the series, there was always just a little bit of green showing. So no trees, it's too far too windy for trees. There we go, but there was always a little bit of green showing. All right. Find more bits and bobs of one another. Oh, <laughs> they're having a conversation amongst themselves. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of orange with this and I'm just going to give a little bit of a highlight, not much, just a little bit of highlight coming down, there we go, we'll take
There we are. Okay, so what else should we do? Shall I do something coming out this corner? Just down around this corner. Perhaps I will. Okay, big watch. Big girl pants on. Come on, let's go. Right, I'm going to start up here. I'm going to literally come around the corner. And we're going to come straight across and down. And this is going to be where we're going to have our vantage point. All right, so. So, big girl pants on. Let's get that in there. Loads of paint. Bring that into there. And go around the corner. So, I've got a few new people today, so I will explain that I do go around the corner. I didn't used to many moons ago but I started going round the corners because I noticed people weren't framing my paintings Ooh. and I just thought I'm not going to frame them I'd better take it round for you so I started doing it well, people seem to appreciate it right I'll just square this off a little bit Right across, cut that right down there. Okay, so we'll have a little bit, we'll have a grass, have a little bit of yellow ochre in with the green, so it's not that just a, a plain green. Okay, come across there, come across there. Okay, bring that down. And then I'm going to come across here and this is going to be the path down. Okay, let me just bring some down there. There we are. So it's down beside. So we've got a got the map, the hills in the background, the cliffs in the background, and then this is the piece of land that we're standing on, type thing. All right, it's just swung around. No, I'm not going to smooth it off because seriously, it's rough old ground. Okay, now I need to do a little bit more green with my. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn my back on you. Do some along here and there. There we go. Just bring that. Now, be careful with the strokes because the strokes do indicate the lay of the land. And there we are. Painting's looking good. Thank you, Carolyn. Much appreciated. Right. I think all I need to do now is a little bit on there, just a little bit there, and have a little bit, a little bit of greenery, shrubbery, whatever, on there. There we are. Okay, and I think I'm going to call that quits. I think that is my interpretation of the bleakness and the, actually you know what, not quite, because, don't worry guys, I do this a lot, but I really do think these need a little bit darker under the, the waves. Just a little bit of darkness, showing a little bit of shadow. Just sets them down. That's better. Yep. I'll just do a little bit there as well. Because these are coming over as well. So there we go. That's better. Yeah, like that. Right. Seriously, this is it this time. You know it's it because I'm actually going to 
sign off. I hope you enjoyed this one. So let's say, I guess I'm going to, I'll put this down. Just like I have to call this one Shetland, funnily enough. Right, I'll just do my signature. I sign it in red. Why do I sign it in red? Because I've always signed it in red. I used to watch Bob Ross signing. He signed his in red and I thought that's what artists did. But of course now it's become my trademark as well. So I can't change it. Well, okay. I do change it on black and white paintings and things like that. And ones with different colours. But right. And there you are. That is my Shetland Island painting. I hope you've enjoyed it. It will be available on my website, rbart.co.uk, very, very shortly. If you'd like to paint along with the video, the video will be going live. Probably be able to edit it tomorrow, in which case, um, if I edit it tomorrow, it will go up on YouTube overnight. And I've just got another nice to keep up with what you're doing. You too, Gemma, you too. And um, oh, I'm just seeing one that I need to get rid of. There we go. Um, yeah, so YouTube, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do. It could do with a little bit of love and attention. It's um, I'll be art. Obviously, all my tutorials are, are on there. They're all um, edited and you don't get any of the faff and stuff on them. All right. And the instructions are a lot clearer and a lot slower. Um, thank you for joining me. I will be back next week. Same time, same place, because I think we're in lockdown till mid-February. So that should be another five or six paintings. Please do try and join me. Make an appointment five o'clock on Fridays. Um, I will see you soon. In the meantime, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Twitter and um, you can email me on the website. If you'd like to see anything next week, let me know. Speak to you soon then. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.